Is this going to work? Oh, that's totally not going to stay. One second. One second. <laughs> right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, see, but yours is good because it's from both sides. Heck, yeah. I need mine, like, right in the middle. Like that. That's what I'm looking for. Hang on. <laughs> this is the best. All right. There it is. Yeah. I got the lighting. Lighting makes a big difference. This is really good. Yeah. Now I feel like I'm on stage with like the spotlight right in your eyes. You can't see the audience. I know, right? I've got like a migraine already. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's like it's like we're on ESPN. Um, uh, so you're gonna be so impressed with what I have over here today. Oh, I can't wait for this episode. Um, but uh, we didn't really have like a formal start to the last one. Right. We need like a theme song. Oh, we absolutely need a theme okay, song. Okay, so let's brainstorm ideas. We'll have a theme song for next time. Perfect. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll think about that. <laughs> and then uh, we need to have like a regular intro. Yeah. You should, like, you should design one of those like 3D or the, you know, like the computer animated shapes are flying around. Yes. Yeah. Then your name comes in, and then some shapes, and then my name. Yeah, this is going to be right. really good. I'm going to yeah. get on After Effects as soon as we're off here, and I'm going to put <laughs> something together. Yeah, we'll do that at the beginning. You, we should do it like the same as, uh, is that Sports Center? The da -na -na, da -na -na. Uh -huh. Whose is that? That's Sports Center. See, we'll do that, but just make it like one note different. We'll be the Vanilla Ice to their... Yeah. I forget who they are. There you go. Like, oh, that's different. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was like, da -da -da, right? And yours is like, da -da -da. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's good. All right. So here I have. Oh, wow. You did homework. Game notes. So, game five of the Western Conference Finals just ended Thunder versus the Warriors. Here in Oakland. And the Warriors didn't lose. They didn't lose. So, okay. First, let's just clear the air here. I didn't watch the fourth quarter of the game. Let's, let's tell actually, the good people why. <laughs> actually, I didn't watch the first quarter or the second quarter either. Um, because I was driving my car. Um, I was driving home from work. And so I was listening to it on the radio. Which isn't as good, turns out. Um, Basketball's but, hard on the radio. It really is. Baseball is like tailor made for the radio. Basketball is way too quick. The play's like done, and they're on back on the other side of the court, and you're still not yep. sure what happened. Yep. I know the cra the 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 crowd's like going crazy, and they still haven't said anything. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I listened to the first and second quarter. I got home right as the third quarter was starting, or right after the third quarter started, which was great. But then I couldn't watch the fourth quarter, so. Yeah, because like five minutes into the fourth quarter, you sent the group DM a nice little message that said, I can't watch the game anymore. And we were like, wait, what? Why? And then you were like... Well, okay. Listen, <laughs> I had a massage scheduled for tonight. So Not I just any massage, a massage envy massage. It was a massage envy massage. I took a screenshot of your picture that you sent the group, and I'm going to edit it into my section of the video here. So you're welcome, America. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, so I didn't watch the fourth quarter. But I have a really good wife who recorded it, and I came home and watched. I watched the last six minutes. I knew what already happened, but I wanted to watch it because I, you got everyone experience said it was crazy. It, sure. Yeah. Shout out to you know, Lisa. Good looking out there. That was clutch. She was really good. Um, and so, yeah, so I just finished watching it. And I am so proud of them for not totally sucking and losing that game. Yeah, that no, um, was a good game. But they almost did. That was a crazy last minute, right? With one minute left, a comfortable lead all of a sudden got very not comfortable. Yeah, they were up by, I think it was by 10 with 55 seconds left. And then, or no, it, it must have been 12. And then the Thunder scored six points in like five seconds. Yeah, so they get the Durant foul. 
and he makes all the free throws right. he, from like he got half court. Shooting like a half court shot. Right. Harrison Barnes, your boy, Harrison Barnes. Yeah. Shout out to the Black Falcon, my favorite player on the team. <laughs> um, um, and then, yeah, so he fouls him on like his half court shot, so he gets three free throws. And then he makes them all. They inbound to Steph. Steph dribbles all the way down the court, and he's getting triple teamed. And then from behind, somebody catches up to him. Stephen Adams, Adams. Westbrook. Yeah. yeah. Stephen. No, no, no. Did you hear what you just said? Stephen Adams <laughs> catches up to Steph from behind and steals the ball. Yeah, and Steph kind of like anticipating the foul and ready to go to the line, just kind of like he didn't. Gave he it didn't up. even like fight it. Yeah, he just kind of like ran and just thought that they would call a foul or something. But nope, they turn it around, pass it up to Westbrook, and uh, oh, he it was a short shot, but he got fouled on it and it went in. Yeah, yeah. so it was it was and like it was five seconds, six points. Durant had a three, like a good look at a three to get it to like a one possession game, and thank the Lord he missed that shot. Yeah, man, the Warriors that would have been a complete disaster. Okay, I was just think I was just thinking back to this. So we talked about game one last time, about how close that was and if that had gone a different way. Yeah. Do you remember how it actually ended? That ended, that was Westbrook's travel. Remember that one? Yeah, I do remember, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. So that travel call could have made this a 3-2 to two Warriors game or lead right now in this series. The missed travel. How nervous um, is Oklahoma right now? Getting on you that think plane? so? No, zero. Zero nervous because they played no close way. tonight? Yeah, because they came here, they come to Oakland, which is crazy to play in Oakland. And it was loud tonight. Yeah. Shout out to the Oracle and, fans. It was loud tonight. And this is like, you know, you know the Warriors are going to bring it today, right? Like it's their last chance. Home to, game. Elimination To save game. their series at all. Um, and so they come in here just hoping to compete. And they get so close yeah. to finishing it. And so you know, like going back to Oklahoma... Um, the crowd's going to be nuts. The team's going to be so pumped. They're, fe- they're feeling good right now, I think. But devil's advocate, they have a little bit of a history of this season of not being able to close out games. True. And if they don't win in Oklahoma, they got to go play yeah. at Oracle Game 7. There's a lot of pressure on that yeah, game. Yeah, that's true. They have to win Game 6. I think, I think if the Warriors win Game 6, the Warriors will also win Game 7. Because not only is it now you're in Oakland at home, but it's the Warriors just won two in a row. Right? Two in like a row. They have the momentum. And to win Game 6, you got to figure Steph's a little bit more right. You know, He's feeling a little bit better. And that's a big difference for that team because they kind of go as he makes that offense go. Can you tell me what's wrong with Steph? What's that? Uh, what? No, only like four people on the planet can tell you what's wrong with Steph. And I unfortunately am not one of them. Oh, uh, shoot. But Steve Kerr, if you're watching and you're a fan, I would love to be one of those four people. So just Was you know, Steve let us Kerr know. at the game tonight? Was he? I, you know, <laughs> about three quarters in. <laughs> it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't obvious if he was or not. In the third quarter, in our little group DM, I sent a message to everyone. Is like, hey, check out Harrison Barnes' stat line. And at that time, he's like, one for six, three points, no yeah. assists, no rebounds, no blocks, no steals, one it foul. It was all zeros. It was zeros That's across, his stat line. He has three points, three points yeah. and one foul and yeah. a lot of zeros. Yeah. And Luke tweets, is he even playing tonight? And then we got on the conversation of Donovan out coaching Steve Kerr in some crazy way. And... Luke followed up with another funny tweet as Steve Kerr at the game tonight. <laughs> it was, I don't, it, yeah, this whole, this series is so interesting. I think people are going to dissect this for a long time um, on like what happened to the Warriors. Yeah, it's so interesting because in, in the finals last year, that's kind of where Steve Kerr like made crazy adjustments, kind of like put Iguodala into the rotation and really out coached uh, yep. Cleveland in that game or series. And then this year, it's kind of like the opposite is happening to him. Yeah, Donovan comes out of nowhere, right? This guy who two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I'm thinking, man, I could go call, coach a college team and win a national championship if, if Billy Donovan can do it. And then now all of a Wait, sudden... Wait, where, where is he from? What was he doing before? He was in Florida. So he coached like uh, Joaquin Noah, Corey Brewer, those Florida national championship teams, Al gotcha. Horford. Um, yeah, and so you're just thinking... I. 
anyone could coach a college team to a national championship, but then now he's like made all these great adjustments. Steve Kerr is nowhere to be found. Same old, same old with him, right? Same rotations, same lineups, same minutes, and just... It was all the same. Okay, so here's... Let me just... A couple of numbers for you. Because you brought up Iguodala. That's an interesting one. Because you're right. Last year in the NBA Finals, if you don't remember, he was actually the Finals MVP. He was the MVP. Which means something, right? Like, (laughs) he played... He played significant minutes. He put up some good numbers. He, and he shut was, LeBron down in the sense yeah, that LeBron only scored defense. like 30 points a night. But on like 50 shots, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so he was, tonight, Iguodala was 3 for 5. Okay. 8 quiet, points. Quiet on offense. But he had 8 assists. Yeah. Which is more than you need than you should ask of him. Right. right? More than you expect going into the game. One rebound. One steal, one block. Iguodala's thing, though, is when he's on the court, he's checking Kevin Durant, who you know is one of the best scorers in the history of the NBA. Yeah, and checks him pretty well. I mean, Durant still scored you know 100 points tonight on like 105 shots. Tell me, do you have his numbers? Tell me how many points yeah. on how many shots? Who are you looking Durant? at, Kevin Durant yeah. tonight? Yeah. So he was 12 for 31. 31 which, shots. Yeah, which is pr- actually not great, right? <laughs> he's three He's three for 11 on threes. So just a horrible, like, horrible shooting night. But 13 free throws. 13 for 13. And and that's the thing for him is, like, he's going to get his points, and Iguodal is just kind of out there to make it tough. And a yeah. lot of jump shots from, you know, 18 to 20 feet over Iguodal. Not not easy buckets tonight for Durant when Iguodal is checking him and yep. they don't switch the pick and roll. And that's that, it. So that was with 40 points for Durant. Um, unreal, dude. Unreal. 40, How about 40 you have points, a bad night and you put up 40 points? How about that? I know. I've never done that before. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, forty point seven rebounds, four assists. Okay, wait. T- speaking of guarding Durant, how about that? In the last two minutes of the game, Curry has two big plays guarding Durant. Yeah, one of them, he blocked his shot and got the and rebound then, like out of bounds, like reached out of bounds yep. to corral the rebound. Yeah, that was blocked huge. the shot, got the rebound, and then like two possessions later, he. Uh, he steals the ball from him. Yeah. Yeah. Durant he like picks his reaches around, picks his pocket here, and is off to the races. And that Durant, was the one where Durant's got a bad highlight reel. Yeah. Turning the ball over in the fourth quarter. That's been a thing for him this year. Man. Okay, here, how about uh Westbrook? Do you want to hear Westbrook? Eleven for twenty six. Okay, so this is another reason. You look at like the Thunder, why they gotta feel pretty good. They shot terribly. Yeah, those and guys put up 50-whatever shots and made 20 of them. They shot horrible on the road and barely lost. And they had a chance at the end. Yep. So he had uh, 31 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists. I mean, just your and 5 steals. You um, see, uh, Do you see the stuff in the post game where they were asking, hey, do you guys think Steph's an underrated defender? Have you seen this already? No, no. What happened? Uh, so a reporter asks Kevin Durant, hey, do you think after tonight's game that Steph might be underrated as a defender? And Westbrook just breaks out in laughter. Can't not laugh at the question. And so you got to figure that's going to get some run this week and hopefully oh, so Steph's a little good. motivated on Saturday. Okay, so I'm a little bit bummed because Saturday I'm not going to be able to watch <laughs> most of the game. You're the worst bandwagon fan in the history of oh, the bandwagon I'm, fans. I'm so sad right now. <laughs> um, we're flying to Seattle Saturday. Manny Petty, tell um, the truth. The, not, no. <laughs> um, actually, let me see. What time is my is my flight? Uh, oh, look at that. Gmail's so good at telling me this stuff. Um, May 28th, that's Saturday, right? Yep. It leaves here at 5. It lands at 7. So I'm going to miss. No, but they'll have the game on the flight, right? Does your flight have TV? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Virgin. Is that oh, a thing still? Yeah, that's, that's a thing. <laughs> is it? Is You're not going to have the game. You're going to be all right. Oh, yeah. I'll have the game. I'll, what I'll better way to the travel first than watching the game? Okay, no, this is good. Um, 
So at least I'll catch the first hour of it. The second hour will be me walking through an airport trying to get a rental <laughs> Waiting car. for your bags to come out. Yeah. 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 Um, that was that was a bad bad ske- that was a scheduling error right there. Now, so when I was looking at flights, like the morning, the early morning flights were super expensive. The late at night flights were super expensive, but that one right then, super cheap. Um, and and now I now I know why. I don't know how Virgin knew four weeks in advance, but somehow they had that figured out. Um. All right. Let's see what else happened. Uh. Uh. Tell me just so, for the sake of like my yeah. hatred of Harrison Barnes, what his final stat line yeah. was. Two, two for seven. But here's the big one. This is where he was good. Two for two, two from three. Yeah, and in the fourth quarter, like big three. Like as the Thunder were kind of making their push to catch up, there I think they were within like five or six, and mm-hmm. he caught one like on the elbow there, and big three. So six points. Six points, one rebound, one assist. Man, that is not max money right there. At at twenty five minutes. That is not Bob Myers. We know you listen. That is not max money. Don't you dare do this to us. Oh man, us bandwagon fans. You let him go play with Luke Walton in L.A. Let him go. He's definitely going to L.A. <laughs> um, and then Draymond. He was uh, he was pumped up. He got a technical tonight. Though. Yeah, that's bad news. Okay, so explain this. So he's at five. Is that right? Five texts on in the postseason. Yeah, and then the sixth one is a suspension. So he'll miss a game. So if he gets one more, he misses a game. If or he gets if he, one or more, if he gets a flagrant, flagrant he also he misses, misses a game. game. What if Man, he gets a, a flagrant? And then comes back and gets a technical. Does he have to miss two games? Or does it I reset so. the whole thing? No, 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 no. I think it's two. Draymond's missing two games in the finals. So. Ooh. He, the thing, and I, I mean, I mentioned this before. I think the thing that bugs me about that is that coming into this series, he was all talk yeah. about being the one to get under Steven Adams' skin. To hopefully get uh, some technicals from Steven Adams. And he's like, oh yeah, I totally got this. You know, you just like do your thing and you kind of poke at him and frustrate him a little bit and he'll pop. And it's been the complete opposite. Yeah, and quite embarrassingly so. Steven Adams has just been cool, calm, and collected. I mean, the dude got kicked in the nuts and didn't even like react, (laughs) right? (laughs) Yeah, which is kind of weird. Um yeah yeah (laughs) uh so i mean yeah but draymond had a good night 13 rebounds yeah and he had some big rebounds yeah Yeah. and a couple of offensive rebounds that that mattered yep were in big moments definitely had one yeah i remember one specifically that was like over durant and then yeah spin move layup yeah Yeah. put it back in yeah it was great um bogut was huge tonight Podium game for Bogut. I mean, Bogut and most spates are like game ball winners tonight, right? Those guys played yeah. out of their minds. So Bogut was seven for nine. That's so he had fifteen points, fourteen rebounds, and a couple huge blocks. Yep, two blocks and only three fouls. That was the crazy one, right? That was the crazy part. How many minutes did he play tonight? Thirty. He played thirty minutes. That's... He hasn't played thirty minutes in months. He I, combined this series, he might not have played thirty minutes before tonight. Yeah, that's probably true. He probably didn't actually. Um, yeah, he played out of his mind crazy. tonight. Shout so out to he Bogan, was good, dude. and then you said uh, Spates was the other one. Which you're right. He was four for seven, fourteen points, and it was just in like a few minutes. What did he play? Eight minutes. And fourteen Spates, points in eight minutes. Yeah. You worry about defense, right? When he's on the floor because he's the five and and he's not great on help. But tonight he took a charge. He had a couple. Uh, yeah. Nice. He came over and, and deflected some was, shots. And yeah, it was good. Mo played great tonight. I don't know if you saw the not Bill Walton tweet that I thought was hilarious, but it was like no, the most no. impressive thing about Mo Spade's game tonight is that he did the whole thing while balancing a milk dud on his head, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> That's awesome. That's amazing. I'm going to buy, if Mo comes back to the Bay next year, I'm buying a jersey. I decided. No, you're not. Oh, absolutely. He's still my least favorite. No, he's the greatest. 
greatest. He's not the greatest. <laughs> He's the only reason that I'm not completely a Warriors fan right now. And that's not even true. Jason Thompson is the reason you're not completely a Warriors fan right now. Jason Thompson isn't on the Warriors anymore. <laughs> Fair. True. <laughs> did you know that he's on the Raptors? No, I did not know that. I was watching that game the other day and I saw him sitting on the bench and I was like, wait, Jason Thompson's on the Raptors? We should probably do, speaking of the Raptors, a little stat correction from our last uh, episode here. Okay, I was wrong. There is a Canadian on the Toronto Raptors oh, team yeah. and it is Anthony Bennett, who I mentioned was on Cleveland, but <laughs> yeah. is no longer on the Cleveland roster. Well, so you had the, the right guy right, right. as a Canadian, just wrong team. And my ballpark guess that Tristan Thompson was Canadian is, is accurate. So there was Canadians oh. playing on both sides of the floor that game. Okay. All USA. Right. Well, USA. USA. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay. So let me, I have here uh, scores from Western Conference uh, from the five games. Um, this is the first game within 15, yeah? It wasn't. The first game was. Remember the first oh, game? Oh, yeah, was yeah. Close, that was a close game. Okay. Right? Um, Another stat correction there, because I think I said that last time. <laughs> yeah, you did, um, but that's okay. We, we don't, I don't know, we don't need like facts on this show. No, that's not the point. We don't, <laughs> please. We don't, we don't really do that. Um, it's too much effort. What was the fewest points scored in a game by either team? I'm going to go 2-16. What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about like combined? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, geez, I don't know. I can't do math like that. <laughs> Carry the one. Um, that was actually probably pretty close. Let me see. I'm the over-under has been here. like 220-ish each game. And I know one of the games for sure went under. So I'm guessing in that ballpark. What? What? I totally, I lost, totally you. lost you. Yeah, we're back now. We're back now. Okay, we're back. We're back, everybody. <laughs> What did you say? I was saying the total in each of these games has been right around 220, and I yeah. know at least one that of them went under. 209. 209, okay. OKC scored 91 points in that game. That was the fewest points scored in one of these games. And the most was game three, OKC scored 133. Jeez, dude. Which is nuts. That was, yeah. So, yeah, uh, the first game was a six-point game. This game was a nine-point game. And then the other ones, yeah, were all... Huge blowouts, which is nuts, which is nuts. Okay, so we have game six on Saturday at six o'clock. You know what I love, though? My favorite thing. So they split the uh, who owns which series. Yeah. TNT, yeah. And TNT has Western Conference Finals and ESPN has Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. Because yeah. TNT basketball is a million times better than oh, it's not ESPN even close. basketball. Um, so I, I actually... Really like that. I watch like watching their after game. So yeah, six o'clock TNT on Saturday. Oh, that's I guess it's seven five seven o'clock for you. Seven o'clock for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, what uh, who then, you got tomorrow? Uh, this one's in Toronto. No, Toronto's not gonna win. It's gonna Cavs are gonna finish tomorrow. It's over tomorrow. Yeah. I tend to agree. It'll be a huge blowout too. I think like. I think the Cavs will start off strong in the first quarter, and they'll go up by ten, and they'll never, never go look back, back under that. Okay. okay, that's my that's my prediction. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say come from behind. I'm gonna say Toronto has the lead at the half. Wow. Ca I think Cavs win it though. I I just think that that Toronto team. They don't like. I I feel like they're the type of team where, as long as they're ahead, they're they're good. But as soon as like as soon as they drop a little bit, it's like, eh, they don't. I mean, they don't believe in themselves enough to be able to come back from that. Last night's game was terrible, terrible. horrible. <laughs> that was pathetic. How much did they lose by? Thirty-eight. I just know that when I turned it on, the score was uh, seventy-seven to thirty-four. No, what was it? It must have been sixty-seven to thirty-four. And I, I remember thinking, like, like, oh, just one more point, Cleveland, so that you can like <laughs> double them up. Bill With Simmons tweeted 34. halfway through the third quarter, how fun would it be if a team wins by 40 in the playoffs, we give them two wins in the series? Because then you still have like something to play for, right? Toronto yeah. like can't just like run their subs out there. Oh, that's true. That's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. You could never do it, but fun. Yeah, fun probably theory. not. It would be good though. Um, and so, yeah, so Cleveland will finish tomorrow. Then... 
the Warriors will play on Monday. Right, right. At home. Here, game seven. Do I need to go to that game? You have to. I do have to, right? You, you have to. How much are tickets to that game? Probably free. Free. You probably just like give them out of the door if you want to go. I can't imagine they're that expensive. Let's see. I'm going to look this up right now. I want to know. Um, and then we can uh, wrap up. Let's see. Game six, game sevens, Western Conference finals. Oh my gosh. Cheapest ticket. What do you think? Way up top. Oh, they got to start at 400. Basically. Is it? You it's it you can get 372 is the cheapest. And that's at the very top in the back on the base on not on the on the baseline. Yeah. That's rough. If you want $400. center court at the top, you're going six hundred. Lower bowl, cheapest ticket. Lower bowl, cheapest ticket is six six thirty four. That's. I thought it'd be worse. I was thinking I there'd be a comma. Uh, Six thirty-four. Where is that? That's the last. The top. The top. Of, no, it's actually. Wow, that's actually not too bad. Row fourteen. If you're interested <laughs> in that. that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm totally going to bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone will be like, what did he say? <laughs> um, uh, row 14 on the baseline. That's pretty good for 635. You should buy that right now. Because if there is a game seven, that'll go up. It's a good investment. It's like a future on a stock. Just buy that You thing. go, uh, yeah, the most expensive ticket. Let's see what he can get. Oh, <laughs> you want a floor seat? How much do you think a seat is on the floor? Man, I would have guessed front like row on the floor, like the front, the front seven one. grand. I would have guessed, but that's got to be no high way. now, right? Yeah, no, it's it's not seven grand. Please, seven grand if you want to sit in the nosebleeds. It's thirty one thousand dollars. Thirty one grand. Oh my gosh. Let's get two of them. Let's just go. YOLO. There are Luke. two. There's two right now. All right. Thirty-one. Actually, no. I, I I rounded down. It's funny because I rounded. It's actually thirty-one eight. Oh, that. Why'd you round down? Didn't you go to like the second grade? <laughs> my anything five my, or higher, you got to go up, Luke. That's how rounding works. <laughs> you know what's funny about that is like I just I was like oh yeah the eight hundred was just uh, you know change in there but like eight hundred that was. You could be sitting in row 14 and save 800. yourself 200 yeah. bucks just on the $800. Yeah. That's crazy that that's how much that is. I'm um, in. I'll go have these. Make it happen. All right. Expense it. <laughs> we'll just a, write a, it off. Seven, <laughs> 753, a 753 business expense. Perfect. Perfect. Our first one. We could probably get press to passes, try to get funding. Right? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I love that. You're like, you're like, oh yeah, we need some uh, funding, and they're like, well, let's see your uh, your financials, and it's like, well, we only, we've only had one expense so far, but it was really expensive. It was like sixty three thousand dollars. <laughs> it was a basketball game. It was just a game we had to go to. How are we not going to go to that game though? Had to. Um, yeah, there's no way. I'm not going to this. That's too expensive. But if there is a game seven, you know you want to be there for it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and this series has been so good. Both these teams are so fun to watch. Yeah, it has been a good... Well, it actually, no, it hasn't been a good series. Um, Blowouts, but they're fun to watch, teams. Game one and game five were good games. But no, but it is a fun series to watch because Kevin, man, Kevin Durant and what Russell Westbrook have been incredible. Yeah, it's a lot of... There's a lot of I athletes just, on these two teams. Right, I think that's what it is. That's what we were... As Lisa and I were talking about that watching this game tonight. It's It's crazy to think that because like the Warriors thing is that they go small, right? Like mm -hmm. that's that's been their thing all year long, and they're better at everybody at it. And somehow, Oklahoma has figured out how to go small, but they go small with huge guys, and I'm not sure how that <laughs> makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. But they definitely do, right? Like you have Kevin Durant playing the three as a seven footer 
on your small lineup. Right, and Surge playing the five, he's like most space, right? He's a stretch five, if that exists. Right, and so you have every single person... But the thing is, the thing that's different about him is they're all like skinny guys that are athletic, Just right? Just long, skinny, lanky athletes. Super long. They're so fast. Did you see somebody uh, tweeted a clip? It was uh, Russell Westbrook, um, and he got a defensive rebound like under the hoop on one end and dribbled it all the way down himself for a layup on the other end. and And the clip was like, Look at the shot clock when he scores. And it just barely turned to 20. <laughs> and it's like, he went all the way down the court in less than four seconds. And it was like four steps. Like in four strides for him, he went like coast to coast. They're, they're a really fast team. I would have pulled a hammy. Yeah. I would have torn ACL. It would have been the yeah. end of my career. And he just oh, man. makes yeah, it look so that, that's what That's what's so tough with them. Is the, and they're all like that, right? Because even their big guys, like you said, Ibaka and Steven Adams, like those guys are huge, but they're also super fast and like high energy all game. Yeah, someone tweeted, we found the blueprint to beat the Warriors. You just have a six foot 11 guy who plays like a guard, uh, defend Steph or Clay on the perimeter. So yep. every NBA team's like, oh yeah, we'll just go find one of those. A 6'11 dude we'll who plays find... like a guard. <laughs> right. Yep. Exactly. Um, they actually, the Thunder didn't use their bench that much tonight. That bodes well for the Warriors. Warriors didn't use a ton of bench tonight either, though. I guess Mo um, and Sean got some run. A little bit of and Barbosa. Ig- and Iguodala. Yeah, Iggy's kind of like yeah, starter-ish. Yeah, he played starter minutes tonight. Um, but no, like if you look at the Thunder, so Dion Waiters played 26 minutes. Which what Do you is, have plus minus there or no? Yeah, minus 18. Yeah, shout out to Dion Waiters. He was, <laughs> he was the worst of the game. That's the Dion Waiters that I know and love. Like, Just hang around, buddy. Yeah. Just stick around there. Yep. Um, <laughs> nobody even had like a plus that big. 18 like was the biggest. That's pretty so good. Minus 18. 0 for 4. 0 points. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Um, that, and that's in 26 minutes. Right? He had to regress okay. at some point, and that's, that's solid. He had some what? He had to regress at some point. He couldn't yeah. play at the level he'd been no, playing. No, 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 no. Right. Um, and then they had... And then after that, it was like a huge drop-off. The, the next person that played the most minutes was Randy Foy at eight minutes. Okay. So okay. that was it. Like, their bench did almost nothing. Um, Anthony Morrow. Is that how you say his name? Yeah. Do you see the he, three he made at the he very end? He did well. End? Yeah, with like he put 15 up 10 seconds left. Yeah, he like didn't even mean to shoot it, and somehow no. it <laughs> went and he did like a sideways, and he like pushed it up. It was weird. Yeah, and it went in. Of course it did. Of course it did. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it was a good game. It was fun. So I'm ready for game six. I'm nervous, I'm, but I'm ready. I'm gonna be watching it from the air. Nice. We we I mean we're flying with kids, so. Um, I'm not sure it's going to be that easy. Um, Just give it to Lisa, dude. But she, she you know, I know. Well, so now it's interesting because we have to get, because our kids are old enough that we need to buy two seats for them, which uh-huh. makes flying super expensive, first of all. And second of all, so now there's four of us, so we don't fit in a single row anymore. Yeah. And so so we you have, just go Lisa, Lisa, the two girls, and then you, and you take the newborn, you, you're all good. Well, that's what we're doing. That's how we're going to split. We have like the two girls and one adult, and then one adult with a baby on their own. I'm trying to figure out which one's better. Which one? I mean, do I... Weigh like, in, guys. Girls... If you have comments, just throw them down here. Which would you prefer, yeah. travel mate? <laughs> yeah. Do you take the baby and hope she sleeps? Oh, yeah. Or do just you, give her like, some Dramamine right before the flight. She'll be all right. Or do you just hand the older girls an iPad and let them... Have at it for two hours. You're win-win. You're both gonna enjoy this fight. Yeah, could be. All right, all right. I'm gonna run. All right, good talk. Yeah, it's fun. Bachelor on Monday. Prepare yourself. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll be doing that one live from Seattle. Yeah. I'll, I'll be in Seattle on Monday, so. Um, nice. I'll have, to, I'll have to. We're staying with my in-laws, so I'll have to talk them into watching with us. Oh, they're going to love it. They're a huge fan, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, they're good. <laughs>
All right. All right. All right. Good one. We'll talk later. All right.